It looks like many of you are having problems with uh, the area and perimeter and the coordinate plane task. So let me guide you through a couple of these problems. It says the upper left coordinates of a rectangle are negative 4, 4. So I'm going to move this upper left to that position, negative 4, 4. The upper right are positive 4, 4. So I'm going to click on the point and just drag it and then release. It says the rectangle has a perimeter of 20. Now I don't know where these two points go, but I know the perimeter has an, uh, I know the figure has a perimeter of 20. I'm just going to guess, what if I put the points here? I know it's a rectangle, right? So it can't look like that or anything. It's got to look like a rectangle. <clears throat> so, let's see. Would this have a perimeter of 20? Uh, it looks like that's 8 units. And, of course, this would be 8 units. And this is 2 units. So 2 8s would be 16 and 2 2s would be 4. So, yeah, that has a perimeter of 20. So that is what your... Uh, figure should look like. I'll just click check and yep, I got it right. I'm going to go on to the next problem. Okay, this next problem involves a rectangle. And if you have a piece of graph paper, I highly recommend plotting these points on the graph to find the area. It'll be a lot easier to see. Uh, for those that are a little more ambitious, I'm going to try doing the problem mentally without graphing. So I look at these two points, A, B, and I know they are next to each other because when you name a rectangle, you have to go around the figure A, B, C, D. So I, I know um, these points are next to each other. They have the same Y coordinate, 3. So that would mean that uh, they are right and left of each other. One is at a position of negative 8 on the X axis. The other is at a position of negative 3. So I can tell just looking at the X coordinates that they are 5 apart. So side AB has to have a length of 5. If I do the same with sides B and C, uh, with side BC, they have the same X coordinate, but the Y coordinates are 3 apart. So I can tell that the rectangle is a 5 by 3 rectangle, which means it has to have an area of 15 square units. So I'll type in 15, and we'll check that. Remember, this is a lot easier to do if you graph it on a piece of graph paper.